Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a quick uh, update, I guess, of what I have in my bag and my purse. And I did one sort of in the spring of this past year, and I thought, you know, I'll do one for what I carry around with me in the winter. Now, I have a work bag that I carry with me, and then I have my purse. This review or a little walkthrough is of my purse, not of my work bag. Maybe someday I'll get around to doing what's in my work bag. But this is what I've been carrying around, and it's a coach. I forget the specific uh, line that it was. I know that's bad. It's one of the, um, the I think it's the Soho collection. It was back in 2007, I believe, is when I got it in the summer. I got it in June of, I think, 2007. So it's, it's old, but um, it's held up really, really well. I love it. If you can kind of see the sides, um, for scale purposes, you know, it just kind of holds all my stuff. I don't need a huge bag. Um, my other one that I've done in a video is larger, but this one suits my needs. It's uh, basically one compartment, and it has a zippered area in here. You can see. But basically, what I carry around with me is my wallet. Um, you've seen this before if you've seen my other video. I do have my checkbook. And this is actually um, different than I think the last time I showed my checkbook. I have a checkbook cover now. And I got this at a sort of a little boutique downtown. And it holds a pen. So the pen goes in the front. And then the checkbook has like different uh, fabric on the inside. So this is washable. It's getting a little bit discolored right here on the front just because of residue or makeup or whatever might be in my bag is discoloring it. So I probably need to stick it in a wash. But it's just polka dot on the outside and then it has like a fun little like kind of funky polka dot pattern on the inside. I have my digital camera with me. Um, this is just a Canon. It's what a power shot. It's A620. This is old. <laughs> uh, this is a little outdated because it's big and it's you know, chunky, but the one thing they do like is it has the flip out, so it does that, and then you can spin it. So once in a while, that's kind of a fun little feature, but I'm carrying that around with me right now. Sometimes I have to take pictures for work, so that's what, you know, I have that. And I have lots of business cards. These are the backs of it. I'm not going to show you where I work, but I have a ton of them right now. I was out, and I actually need to refill my... Um, my card case and my card case isn't in here right now because it's in my work bag and I have two things of mints and uh, the reason why I have so many things of mints is I got these for Christmas for stocking stuffers I don't know if someone from my family is trying to tell me something but uh, I have um, icebreakers mints they're a little tub they come in bigger ones but I got two of these just for like the you know stocking stuffer type gift and then I received perfume from my sister um, from Victoria's Secret and then she also had these little mints in here it's a little purple container darker purple on the top sort of lavender or on the bottom lavender on the top and you open it up and there's a little tiny mint and they're really good they're uh, I think they're spearmint mint instead of like peppermint mint and I have my keys with all sorts of stuff on them and they're huge and get in my way a lot and I have my iPod this is the uh, iPod touch not an iPhone, unfortunately. My phone is out of my bag. I am not cool, and I don't have a iPhone yet, but I have a Razer, Motorola Razer, and love it. It has done me well. It actually spent the night in a snowbank once and still worked. It fell out of my lap when I came out of my car one night, and it was still beeping the next day. So that's my good phone. Um, iPod... Uh, upgraded earplugs. I have those. I have a little mini pen. I have an extra gel pen. I love these. They're the um, Uniball Vision Fine pen. This is all that we use in our office. And because I take my purse with me on calls um, when I go to see clients, usually I just have a couple of these in my purse at all times because that's what I like to work with and write with. I have hand sanitizer. Don't want the H1N1, so I'm using the hand sanitizer. 
And I have two things of Burt Bees floating in the bottom of my purse right now. One of these is the tinted, it has the pomegranate oil in it, so that's why it has the red cap. And then this is the standard kind with the yellow cap. I love that stuff. And now the main part of my bag is empty. So now I can go through the little zipper part. Of oil absorbing sheets that I probably can use right now because it's the end of the day. So I use this type. This is actually on sort of probably its last few sheets. I have to get more. And I have tons of lip gloss. Oh gosh, okay. I have the Victoria's Secret um, very voluptuous lip plumper. And then I have two MAC. I have a luster glass. And then I think I have another. Um, uh, lip glass. This one has completely worn off. Um, I wish I knew what this one was called because this is one of my favorite colors ever. This is part of a holiday collection. That's why they're the little ones, they're the minis. And I'm going to ask anyone out there if they know this was a holiday collection probably either last Christmas or the Christmas before. I think it was last Christmas because I was very excited about it. And that was, what, probably a year ago. But if it came in the set with flash mode, please, maybe, you know what, I probably need to write the other ones in the sidebar. And um, and then the missing one, I think there were five. Because I can see three over there plus four, this is the fifth one. Um, if someone out there knows, or like, or if you know of a site that tells me that kind of information, let me know. Because I need to buy the real size of this. I use this all the time. It's down to about that much. Um, I love it. So I have, um, I went to a store in Chicago a while back and they, it's called Body Chemistry. And they will make, or at least they used to make, uh, customized perfumes for you. So this, I just had, you know, referenced as my name. And it was lavender and I want to say white tea is what they made this as. I don't think as of this past month they do that anymore for um, clients. I think now they just have um, sort of like a database of their own scents that they're trying to create for their store brand so they don't do the customized ones anymore. But I love this. I actually had a friend who loved this in college. I made her some. I think I made her some back in September when they were still offering that service but I don't think they do that anymore. That's been really recent. But if you live in the Chicago area called Body Chemistry. They used to be in Wrigleyville, like down, oh gosh, what is that main road that connects with Grace Street? If you guys know, let me know, because that's where um, this place used to be, and I don't think they moved. So just double check Body Chemistry if you're in that area. They have some great scents. I have my purse hook, which I explained um, in my last video, and I've actually now given purse hooks for Christmas this year. Hopefully they're a big hit because I gave them out to a number of people because they're awesome. And so if any of you are watching, I hope you enjoy it because I love mine. I have a mini mirror that's very beat up. I think I've had since high school, but I love it. And I have, wow, I don't even know why I have these. Um, these are my little tanning covers for my eyes. I haven't been tanning in probably a year, as you can tell, because I'm very pale. But I still keep them around my purse, I guess, if I felt the need to go back. And besides one little random pair of earrings that look like this, they're red, that's it. So that's what I'm carrying around in my everyday purse. I do have other items for my job or a little makeup container in my work bag if you're wondering why I don't have more than just lip gloss in this particular purse. but. I just want to do a quick review. I think these are fun and a lot of people seem to like them when you do them on YouTube. So I thought I'd just do a quick one. Hopefully you guys are having a okay winter. I know right now it's uh, pretty cold and blustery around the country. So hopefully you guys can dig yourselves out in the morning and uh, defrost your cars. That's been a challenge for me. So I will talk to you guys sometime soon and have a great January. Talk to you later. Bye.